Do you guys notice these lights behind us? Yes. See, well, they this? don't see the lights, but they see probably the little right. Glow. So you see the glow behind me right. and the glow behind Jeff. There. Those <laughs> are DMX lights. Not the wrapper. <laughs> <laughs> What's neat about so I've got we've got LED lights all around us here at the studio to to illuminate us. Mm -hmm. And Jeff, you can see them. Yep. Um, and they just plug in. You turn them on. And they're significantly smaller in size than the bulb oh, yeah. lights we had oh, at the other man. studio. Yeah, now we've got all these soft boxes that I gotta sell because like what do you do with them when you've got all these nice little LEDs? Right. But the LED panels that we use are are just plug and play. You plug in the power and turn it on. Mm -hmm. DMX, on the other hand, gives us a whole new realm for lighting in that you can control all of the lights from a controller. Okay. And when I say a controller, so these lights behind us are actually running through oh my goodness what appears like a mixer yeah right so like i can ooh stroby yeah do do all kinds of changes we can i can change the color ah, so these are okay. the this is the rg oh that's the brightness and then i've got red green blue yep so i can actually change that got a bit of a purple going on so this is pretty neat but again this is one of those technologies that i always thought it would be ultra expensive but it was oh, they're pretty cheap. So yeah, they are very cheap. So, but that blew my mind because I needed to buy two lights for the studio. Well, this with eight lights was cheaper than those two lights. Right. That didn't make any sense to me. So then I, but then I started doing research and again, I start looking at how, uh, what can I do that's kind of like tinker and, and have fun. And I started looking at the other lights that I have and well, they are not DMX compatible. Oh, however, you can buy a little controller that takes the power and then takes DMX input and then connects oh. to any of the standard LEDs. Or if you want to do uh, like okay. light tracks with the, with, you know, the spool of light cable, LED oh. cable. So, <laughs> pardon me, that's all possible. But then, so again, I'm looking at, okay, well, you know, how can I, what else can I do with this? Is it worth getting? Mm -hmm. There are DMX lights that you've probably seen them that have a pan and tilt feature. Yes. So you've probably seen them at dances and everything else. Yeah. And with these lights, you can move the light around using that controller. Oh, okay. Then I got looking at, at a particular very, very cheap one and realized that there are screws to remove the faceplate. Why? For service, presumably. Okay. Remember when I said, I'm look, look, thinking about ways that I could use a 3D printer to do cool things that would save money. Are you going to make a bat symbol? No. Tell think, me. think about a pan tilt zoom camera for $2,000. Yeah, okay. Then think about a pan and tilt light that's controlled by this controller for only $90. Okay. Take the faceplate off, put a Raspberry Pi inside of it with the Raspberry Pi HQ camera. 3D print a new faceplate to hold that in place. Oh. Now you've got a DMX controlled Raspberry Pi HQ camera, which we, we would be able to hang on the ceiling. We'd be able to control for uh, doing product reviews and overhead shots, which we can't currently do. Right. Because we don't have that capability and a PTZ camera is 2000 bucks. I like that. I so, still think you should print a bat symbol for me. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing stopping us from doing that, Jeff. There we go. Yeah. So with, with that controller, you can control as many, like it, it'll do, it has 196 channels. So hmm. you can control as many lights and, and pan tilt systems as you want from that controller. Basically, virtually no limit for a small studio like ours. I wonder if, and I'm just thinking from a pure like security standpoint, mm -hmm. If you could use that housing to also hold like a, a wise cam so that you've got your cameras inside yeah. the lights. Have multiple cameras? Yeah. So there's not, no reason why not. That way you can have your PTZ security as well going on. Yeah. Sure. Move it around. Well, or you could just buy a PTZ wise cam. But in Fair particular, but in this particular, is fun. now you could use a 3D yes. printer. <laughs> in particular, the HQ cam for the Raspberry Pi is like a full quality camera. Yeah. So I can install software on there to turn it into uh, an HD camera for our show. 
Very cool. That's something that has me kind of excited. Hmm. Hmm. It's just a thought. It's just an idea. I, again, I don't own a 3D printer, so I can't. But I can start designing the, yeah. the idea, crafting the idea, and maybe have somebody else print the design for me if it works. Just an idea. What do you guys think? Is that something that sounds fun? I, hey, I, yep. And then all of our lights in here, in the studio here are going to be controlled by the, the, the DMX. Thank you.